So um, we published a randomized phase two trial of ramasurumab combined with docetaxel and compared that to docetaxel alone in those patients who had previously received chemotherapy for metastatic disease for urothelial carcinoma. In that trial, we demonstrated a doubling of the progression-free survival in favor of ramasurumab and docetaxel compared to docetaxel alone. Additionally, the survival was trending in the right direction, although we did not power the trial to look at a survival endpoint. We also saw about a doubling in the objective response rate in those patients treated with ram dosi compared to uh, docetaxel alone. So the range trial was designed to confirm this in a phase three setting. Uh, again, it compared ramasurumab given uh, 10 milligrams per kilogram every three weeks along with docetaxel 75 milligrams per kilogram uh, to docetaxel 75 milligrams per kilogram. Uh, these were a poor risk group of patients, 80% had at least one Belmont risk factor, and about 13% 13, 13 of patients had hemoglobins of less than 10. Uh, so this is a group that you would expect to do poorly. Uh, about 10% uh, of patients had prior checkpoint inhibition therapy. Uh, this trial was designed before the era of checkpoint therapy for a metastatic urothelial carcinoma. Uh, what we demonstrated was, again, a similar improvement in progression-free survival. It's a 25% reduction in the rate of progression in favor of ramasurumab and docetaxel uh, compared to docetaxel alone. We had about a doubling of the objective response rate, approximately 24.5% of patients uh, with ram docetaxel demonstrated an objective response, about 14% with docetaxel alone. We did not see any significant cost in toxicity. In fact, if we look at the EORTC quality of life scales, they're exactly the same for patients who receive ram dosi versus dosi alone. So we concluded that this is a viable treatment option for those patients with uh, previous chemotherapy for urothelial carcinoma. It's the first trial to demonstrate a progression-free survival benefit for those patients treated with anti-angiogenesis therapy and chemotherapy. Thank <laughs> you.